Shemai, Yasharalo, Yahawa, Alahainawa, Yahawa, Ahud. Kol Halol Yumla, Alahainawa, Wahawad La, Yahawa, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Waha, Kodash, Raka. All praises to our power and glory to Yahawa in the name Yahweh Shai, in the name and the Holy Spirit. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone that rule well, still teach well. Peace annotations to the hopeful elect, which are Yaakim, and you very, very few, Akwafiem. The Most High's name is Yahweh. Yahweh means he exists, right? That's the one that the world ignorantly calls God. Um, the name of the one that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, which means he delivers, right? The savior for the nation of Israel. The Israelites are the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, and Native Americans. We make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Yasha Allah, he is a prince of the power. Back at again with another lesson entitled The End Phase of the Image of the Beast. We are approaching the end phase of the image of the beast because Esau's empire is soon coming to an end. And um, this is the last ever time that Esau will ever come into rulership ever again. And um, Esau's being Esau does not fit ruling the earth and um the Lord has given him his opportunity of ruling the earth and clearly as you can see the earth is in a terrible predicament so Esau does not deserve to be a ruler and that's the reason why the Lord is going to resign Esau from the position that he's in and put him into captivity Isaiah chapter 29 verse 20 for the terrible one is brought to naught that's Esau the, mo the most high going to put the so-called white man to naught right and the scorner is consumed right because Esau is a scorner the so-called white man and all that watch for iniquity are cut off and that's the Edomites they're the ones watching for iniquity their, their whole goal is to make sure that the nation of Israel is bugged out is their goal is to make sure that the nation of Israel does not focus on Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So they're watching for iniquity. You know, they some Edomites might stand out there in the store, just watching for Israelites to buy on the Sabbath day, man. You know, or some of them, you know, are just there to just watch Jake, you know, eat pork. They, they're obsessed with Jake being bugged out. That's why. Our forefather Hosea made a statement in this. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. My people, and this is a good one, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Because right? we're out there in the highways and byways telling you Israelites, you guys are the most highest people, repent. There's lack of interest. Right? I also will reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. And our people, they've forgotten the law. They don't remember the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Let me skip to verse 8. They eat up the sin of my people, and, and they set their heart on their iniquity. So, these heathens, their mind, including Esau, the so-called white man, their mind is focused on the nation of Israel going off, focused on the nation of Israel committing sin. That's what they're focused on. And, you know, this devil has to be put down. Yahweh Shai is going to put down the so-called white man and put him in slavery for all the wickedness, the wicked LGBT that's going on, right? transgenderism, all this wickedness that's going on the earth. The Heavenly Father is going to put all this nonsense to an end, man. All right? All this garbage that's going on, man. And in this beast system that we're in, you know, you got to play Clark Kent. 
in order to uh, survive in your workplace and stuff like that. But that doesn't mean that, you know, mentally, in your mind, you ain't frustrated with all the bullshit that's going on, man. And um, I can't wait, man, for the highways and byways, man, because it's going to be very um, interesting to curse out this system and to prophesy the downfall of Esau's system. Because the more we prophesy, the more Esau society is collapsing. The more this word is being pushed out, the more Esau is collapsing more and more. Anytime the man of the Lord prophesy, whether it be these epistles or whether it be on the highways and byways, we're pushing out an energy that is making Esau's system to collapse. Psalms chapter 3, verse 3. But thou, O Yahweh, are a shield for me, my glory, and the lifter of my head. All right, because yeah, the Heavenly Father is just shield for us. You know, because you have all these people with unclean spirits. Unclean and evil spirits. And the Lord has been our shield, sending his angels to, you know, defend us from all these demonic people in society, man. You know, when we're out there in the highways and byways, there's a lot of demonic people with unclean spirits. All right, but let me get a... Psalms chapter 36 verse 3. Don't let me read that verse. Uh, For he flattereth himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. Yeah, because the so called white man in his eyes, you know, when he does wickedness, you know, it feels good for him, man. He flattereth himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found to be hateful. Yeah, because if you actually realize what the so called white man is doing is wicked, man. I, you know, he tells you, oh, you know, two dudes can be together. Oh, you know, he's flattering himself. Oh, that looks beautiful. No, that's wickedness, man. Well, you know, when he's saying, oh, you know, a human being can, you know, sleep with a dog. You know, this is love. That's wickedness, man. Okay. Verse three, the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. Well, that's all that comes out of the so-called white man's mouth. You know, it could, uh, iniquity and deceit. That's all that comes out of their mouth. They're wicked. They're devils. They're evil. They're, they're the manipulative. And, you know, they're social engineers, man. He have left off to be wise and to do good. Yeah? He's pretending to be this guy that's intelligent and smart, you know, claiming to be like a doctor or like a lawyer, claiming that he has all this wisdom. But in actuality... You know, he's the damn devil that the Bible speaks of, man. The so-called white man, man. Verse 4. He devised the mischief upon his bed. Yeah, because all he thinks about is how to destroy the earth more. How to forward his new world order. How to push out the uh, mark of the beast, the chip. He sets it in himself in a way that is not good. He abhorreth not evil. You know, he abhorreth not evil. Meaning that the so-called white man, he can't resist being wicked, man. It's in his spirit to be wicked, man. I, the so-called white man, is in his spirit to be the damn devil that the Bible speaks of, man. All this devil does is destroy the earth, spray chemtrails in the sky, put chemicals in the ocean, uh, microchip animals, all right? Sleeping with animals, putting brain chips in, an, uh, uh, in apes, okay? Uh, 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 putting chemicals in the food, all right? Creating, you know, these cigarettes and all these vapes and all these wicked inventions, all right? Um, creating all this weed, okay? The so-called white man is creating all this, you know, um, mixed, you know, fabric, all right? He's, um, you know, sleeping with these animals. He's just the damn devil, man, okay? He's the damn devil. But in these latter days, you know, the elect, the hopeful elect are, you know, exposing this devil, Let's get uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. And then shall that, that wicked be revealed. Who's being revealed? The so-called white man. Esau, the so-called white man. The so-called white woman too. They're being revealed, man. All right? Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. That's the prophets, man. The prophets of the heavenly father are consuming this devil, man. Using this word, man. 
and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is going to come with the brightness of his coming, you know, with that fathership. All right. Verse 9. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders. And Esau does the working of Satan. Because the spiritual demon Satan is the boss of Esau. The spiritual demon Satan uses Esau as a Esau is the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan. So Satan speaks to Esau and tells Esau what to do. All right, so that even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, because he's doing the um, anything that Satan commands him to do, he accepts it with all power and signs and lying wonders. And what's one of his lying wonders, man? You know, that vaccine, man, that's one of his lying wonders, telling you that if you take it, you, you go, you're not going to have coronavirus. All right? One of his lying wonders is, you know, perverting the rainbow, man. One of his lying wonders is uh, teaching children, you know, that being LGBT is correct. You know, that's one of his lying wonders, man. Okay, this damn devil, man. That's why how about Shimei Shai going to destroy you, so-called wife. All you damn devils are going in slavery, man. Every single one of you Edomites are going into slavery. All right? Let's read verse 10. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, they have all deceivableness with their Catholic religion, atheist ideology, deist ideology, all right, Buddhist ideology, Muslim ideology, all right, because these devils, you know, you know, they they're just the devil, man. All right, they're the problem of the earth, man. All right, all these different denominations, agnostic, Anglican, um. All these different doctrines of devils is the is the so-called white man that made it, man. All right, because they received not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Yeah, and you Israelites, you know, because they received not the love of the truth that they may be, might be saved. You didn't love the truth, so you went to go and jump into the so-called white man's ideology. You went to go and jump into his ideology of being a deist, being agnostic being Catholic, being all these doctrines of devils, and you don't want to serve Yahweh Bashim Yahu Shai. You want to serve all these dumb idols, man. You want to be couched up with the Edomites. You want to be serving these damn devils, and you don't want to be praising Yahweh Bashim Yahu Shai and doing his work, man. You're on some bullshit, man. All you Negroes and Hispanics, you know, right now, majority of you are on some bullshit. That's why two-thirds of you are going to be cut off and die, man. Because you don't want to come back to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Alright. Verse 11. And I can't wait for the Lord to return and destroy this demonic place, man. I can't wait. Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Those clouds are so-called UFOs. Chariots. The chariots of the angels. The vehicles of the angels. So Yahweh Shai is coming with the vehicles of of the holy angels and the angels are piloting those clouds those chariots and every eye shall see him I, everyone on the planet earth is going to see how Shai returning with those in uh, 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 the vehicles of the angels which are so called black men all right and they also which pierced him all right that's reincarnation the people that pierced him 2000 years ago they're back here today all right, and they're going to see Yahweh Shai when he returns. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so. Amen. Why are they all going to well because of him? Because this is the reason why they're going to well because of him. The reason why they're going to well because of him is because of this. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. This is the reason why they're going to well because of him. All right. Isaiah 66 and 15. For behold, Yahweh Shimei Shai will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. See, so he's coming with anger, man, with, with flames of fire. You know, he's coming back with laser beams, man. That's the reason why the earth is going to wail because of him, because, you know, that world will, you know, is going to that world will. 
real quick. But all the earth is going to wail because of him because he's going to be slaughtering people. He's going to be killing people. He's going to be putting people down, man. Yeah, how was Shai going to be killing so many people? It's going to be unbelievable, man. All right? When you're going to see an angry so-called black man in a fathership. He's going to be killing, 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 killing so many people, man. People just going to be dying left, right, and center from Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach is coming to slaughter all these damn wicked people, man. All right? It's going to be a terrible day, man. The word well, according to the dictionary, it says uh, how the, uh, a prolonged high pitch crying of pain, grief, or anger. You see? Crying of pain, grief, and or anger. Because then when them laser beams touch you, they can, their skin is going to burn, man. They're going to feel excruciating pain on their body, man. All right? How? They're going to be like, ah, ah, screaming. Yeah, I wish I was coming to bring some damage to this wicked ass system, man. For behold, Yahweh by Hashem Shai will come with fire and his, his chariots like a whirlwind. Those so-called UFOs, those chariots are going to come like a whirlwind, man, to render his anger with fury and his rebukes with flames of fire. Coming to rebuke these damn demonic people with flames of fire, man. Verse 16, for by fire, and by his sword will Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai plead with all flesh. And the slain of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai shall be many. So Yahweh Shai is coming to kill a lot of people out here, man. He's coming to slaughter a lot of these wicked ass people, man. All right? And Lord willing, you know, when he returns, he has mercy on us in that day, man. And we're found hopefully worthy. Lord willing, we're part of the elect. All right? Because we're tired of this wickedness that's going on the earth. We're tired of the so-called white man ruling the planet, man. And there's going to be a time where this devil going to be put down, man. The Lord is coming to put all you damn devils down. All right? Damn devils. Ezekiel chapter 32. Man, we're going, what we're going to do to the Edomites is going to be unbelievable, man. The kind of methods that we're gonna we're gonna do something so bad to you, Edomites, is gonna be unbelievable. What we're gonna do to you is gonna be way beyond belief. Your 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 whole entire lifespan is just gonna be suffering. That's all you're gonna receive: suffering, no mercy. Mercy doesn't exist when the end of your world happens, man. Mercy doesn't exist. It's gonna be forever torments, man. Forever torments. All you're going to be doing is going to be catching hell forever. From Monday to, to whatever day it is, you're just going to be catching pure hell. It's going to be hell for you, man. Everyone's going to hate you. You're going to be catching hell. All you're going to be going through is terrible hell. Your life is going to be a nightmare. You're going to wish that you never existed. Okay? You either might are going to be catching too much hell. Too much hell. Too much hell. It's going to be hell for you for the rest of your life. Yahweh Shem Yahushai is raising up some terrible men that when they lay hands on you, Edomites, it's going to be a nightmare for you, you know? In Ezekiel chapter 32, verse 15, when I shall make the land of Egypt desolate, Right, Yahweh Shem Yahushai is going to make the land of America desolate, man. And the country shall be destitute of that wherefore it was full. When I shall smite all them that dwell therein. Yahweh Shai is coming to smite all those that dwell in America, man. Then shall they know that I am Yahweh Shem Yahushai. They're going to know. They're going to know. And you're going to know that name too. For all of you that don't want to... Um, Acknowledge the name now. The Most High's name is going to be going viral, man. It's going to be going viral. Let's get Revelation 19. Start verse 13. Let's start verse 4, um, 11, right? And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. What's that white horse? That father's ship, that humongous, enormous father's ship that's huge. Yahweh is coming from the third heaven into the earthly realm, right, with that huge fathership. 
and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. That's one of these are Yahweh Shai's titles, faithful and true, because he's faithful and he's also true. And in, in righteousness he doth judge and make war. So this war that Yahweh Shai is coming to make is in righteousness. You know, he's doing it in righteousness. This is a righteous war that Yahweh Shai is coming to do. All right. His eyes were as a flame of fire, right? Because when you read Genesis 49, it speaks about his eyes will be red because of wine, you know. And on his head were many crowns because he's going to be conquering kingdom after kingdom after kingdom. And his he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. You know, that that name is Yahweh Shai. But you see, a lot of people don't know the name. The majority of people on planet Earth don't know the true name of the Lord. All right, and he had he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of Yahweh. Yeah, because when he's on that ship, he's gonna be killing so many people, it's gonna be unbelievable. So many people are gonna be dying. All right, that's 14. And the armies that's the holy angels which were in heaven. Followed him upon white horses, chariots, so-called UFOs, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. Those are our brothers, man. Those are our brothers. The holy angels are our brothers, man. So-called black men, tall, so-called black men in uh, celestial bodies. Verse 15. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. Yahweh is coming to smite these nations, man. With them laser beams that's on those chariots. And he shall rule them with rod of iron. And he treadeth the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of almighty power. And he have on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of kings and Lord of lords. In Hebrews, Malak shall Malakium, wa are one shall are one yum. Right? King of kings and Lord of lords. Right? And we need this to happen, man. We're hoping for this to happen, man. Because Esau, he does not fit rulership, man. We want the kingdom of heaven to be established. And this is the only way. This is the only hope. This is the only hope. You guys don't. We need Yahweh Shai to take down these devils, man. Because this is the worst captivity in Israelite history. There has never been such a worse captivity. There's never been a time where our people are have just completely lost their identity. We need Yahweh Shai desperately because this hell, this chaos, this madness cannot continue forever. We need emergency. We need Yahweh Shai badly because this place is too wicked. It's too wicked. The people are lovers of themselves. They're too wicked, man. Look at all the wickedness that's going on on this planet, man. Look at all the evil, the demonicness, the, 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 the folly that's happening. And when you say something, these devils want to try and do something. You see, that's why Yahweh Hashem is going to destroy this place, man. I the ball, man. Hope the Heavenly Father destroys this place with nuclear missiles. Man, I can't wait for the Lord to destroy it. This wicked and demonic place, man. Anyways, I'm going to give all praises to my power, our power, the power of Israel only, the God of Israel only, the God of the so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans only. Kohaloyim la, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakakodash, Rakati Yahweh, Rakati Yahushai, Rakati Yahweh, Rakati Yahushai, Rakati Yahweh, Rakati Yahushai. Shalom.